I would like to invite you to dream with me of the river running again. This is the drainage of a very special river in Barichar, Colombia called Paramera. And you can see by the way that these boulders are shaped that there used to be a lot of water that ran through this place. Where did the water go? When did it leave? And will it ever come back again? Well, where it went is a combination of deforestation and drying out the land, suppressing of the hydrological cycle so there's less rain. Also, reducing the absorption when there is rain because more of it runs off on the hard-packed ground, together with increasing consumption as water is extracted using hoses for people's houses and for unsustainable forms of agriculture and other human management activities. And then you add the changing patterns of climate that just further exacerbate this situation. When did it leave? Well, when we talk to the locals here, they tell us that these rivers had water in them 25 to 30 years ago. There are young people who are adults today who played in these streams as children. There were river otters locally called nutria that lived in these rivers. And just below me, just below this stretch of rocks, if you go another 500 feet, you'll come to a cascading waterfall if there was water, that would fall about 800 feet. A huge, beautiful, magnificent waterfall that is now completely dry. What would it take to bring this back? Nothing less than a holistic landscape scale of intervention, of significant reforestation in the upper areas, the change of land use and water management practices throughout the whole drainage above and the catchment of this watershed together with the cultivation of care and conscience for the water itself in the people locally. This is what we're working to do here in Baricha, Colombia. So the Parameda is part of a quebrada or a water catchment of the Baricha River. The Baricha River is also in very poor health. And when we see a dry riverbed like this, most of us would just say, oh, that's pretty rocks in the forest. Some of us would say, oh, that's so sad, there's no water here anymore. But a desperate few of us would say, there's something we must do. And among those, fewer still who know how to organize regeneration at the scale of this drainage. And this drainage is something like 10,000 to 15,000 hectares, or 20 to 30,000 acres of land. So we're talking about a large scale regenerative project to restore this river. So I want to share this with you so you can see the way that we're dreaming here in Barichara of bringing watersheds back to life. And I want to invite you to look at dry riverbeds like this and to dream with me where you are. Let's restore our dead rivers, bring back their vibrancy in life through cooperation and dreaming at the scales that are necessary. If you'd like to join us, I'll include links below to where you could donate to the Regenerate Body Chara work, and also a link to the Design School for Regenerating Earth, where we're organizing around this kind of work at these scales. I hope to see you soon.